Mark Etzel, co-owner and trainer of the Blind Award winner, Adair Castle. Uh, Mark, what does it mean for you to win uh, your first O'Brien Award? Oh, it's great. Uh, it's first time here. It's, it's just an awesome event and a lot of fun. And I know that you've talked to me before about the ride that you've had with these connections. Tell, tell me about how it feels to win this award, not just to win the award and your first O'Brien, but to have this ownership crew along for the ride with you. Um, the ownership group's just great. Um, they're, uh, they've mostly been in the business for quite a while and they're just having a ball. And uh, I know uh, Judy and Pete Porter, they're just, they're having the time of their life. It's just, it's been awesome to see the smile on their faces. What is one moment from 2022 with Adair Castle that you'd like to relive and what made it so special for you? Uh, that's kind of tough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, the elegant image sticks in my heart. She raced really tough. She had an outside post, left hard, got the front, let the favorite go, you know, fought down the lane for any second, trod the fastest she did all year, 52 and one or two, something like that. So I, I was quite happy with that. I'd do it again. I'm sure you would. Now, how is she doing uh, so far? Do you have her back in training? And, and how's she up to, Yeah, she's up great right now. Um, she's a little bigger, a little stronger. Um, lots of fight to her. She's feeling really good. She's, she enjoys her work, so it makes it a lot easier. She's been around 218 right now, so we're just getting ready for the graduate series in April. And what is on tap for her after that? Is there a campaign that will see her race more in the States next year? I haven't done staking yet, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I think we've been looking at some different avenues to go. Uh, Got to try and keep her mostly here, but uh, we might venture out there a few times. And how has it been this year trying to get her trained, given the inconsistent weather that we've had here in Ontario? Hey, it's not bad because she's she's an easy horse to train, so you can just pick and choose your times, and she'll respond pretty well. Awesome. Is there a race on your bucket list that you would like to win for her, or is there a race on your bucket list in general? Oh, there's a race my bucket list, which is the handball, but yeah, um, I got a whiteboard at home and on the top of it, it's, you know, Breeders' Crown or handball for Mark. So those are the two biggies. How many horses do you have in training right now? And has that sort of changed uh, uh, given the success of Adair Castle over the last couple of years? Not really, other than my owners just keep wanting to buy more, that's all. Um, I think we got 20 there right now. So that should be enough for the year, I hope. Is there a horse in your two-year-old crop right now that you would say remind you of Adair Castle in any way? That's a pretty tough uh, pill there. Um, I got a couple of other muscle mass fillies that actually do their work pretty easy and uh, enjoy it, so we'll see. I got a Walner Colt there that I really like, um, so we'll see you in July. You've had success with muscle masses. Do you feel like that's a trait that they have, or at least the ones that you've had, you can speak to? Um, yeah, I think they're very honest. They're really, very willing. Most, most of the ones we've had. Um, there's the odd one that's a little lackluster, but that happens in all breeds. So um, I really like them. They're good gated and uh, they like to participate. So. Yeah. What would you say is their castle's best attribute that, that makes her such a great Consistency. Great she just. She never throws a bad one and she always shows up. No matter what her condition is, you know, she's a little sick that time of Flambeau's two year old, she still showed up, you know, and uh, she loves her work. Um, she gets really angry when she doesn't work, so. <laughs> you had two great drivers on her, James McDonald and Bob McClure. James took over the driving on the Deer Castle in her two year old year. What makes James such a good fit for the Philly? Um, James is just a very patient guy and, and knows where to put a horse, what position to put them in to do the, the best for, for the horse. Um, and he's not hard on them. He doesn't overdrive them. And uh, I'm very pleased with the way James is old. You can't argue with the track record that you guys have, right? No, it's pretty good. Yeah, right on. Well, thanks, Mark, for your time and congratulations on uh, your first O'Brien Award for Derek Castle. Awesome. No problem. Thank you.